Let's go! Come on! You won't catch me! It's so cool! Well, well, that's who it was! I'll show you what is what! Come on, come here! <laughs> that's it! You won't get me! <laughs> quiet! Keep quiet! Can you hear it? This is an avalanche! What was it? An avalanche! A huge mass of snow and ice! Did you see how fast it had been rushing down the slope? I haven't even noticed! It all happened too fast! Where does it come from? There's too much snow in the mountains in the winter, and it's so heavy that it begins to slip down. And if an avalanche is very large... Then it can destroy entire settlements at the foot of the mountain. Look, there's a skier over there. I see someone on a snowboard. And a climber. They should be careful, an avalanche can be very dangerous for them. How does it appear? When it's been snowing for a long time. Yes, it mostly happens because of snowfalls. A very loud sound can also trigger an avalanche. Like a shot, for example. Right. Follow me! Look, everything is crumbling. Houses disappear within seconds. Everyone is running, trying to find a safe place. What's going on? It's an earthquake. Earth's crust consists of several layers, and each layer moves very, very slowly. Sometimes they touch on another and start breaking. And what shall we do? We can't just sit here. Of course not. Don't panic. Stay calm. You'll need to leave the room immediately. And if you can't get out? Then you should find a safe place and stay there. For example, you can stand against the wall in a corner or in a doorway. Also, stay away from windows and heavy furniture. You can hide under a table. It will protect you from falling objects and debris. Remember that you can't use elevators. You should use the stairs to go down. Outside, you need to find an open space. Don't get close to buildings. It's cloudy here. Do you feel this strong wind? Yes, I can hardly remain standing. Do you see a dark thundercloud over there? Wow, it's so big. It gets stuffy, windy, and it starts drizzling. All these are the signs of a tornado. What is it? A tornado is a very powerful whirlwind, high and wide. It spins at extreme speed. Does it go inside everything that comes to close? Right! It's better to stay as far away from it as possible! Look! It's a forest fire! It's very difficult to put it out! It flares up too quickly! In most cases, fires happen because of people! If you don't put out your campfire completely and have some burning coals behind, sparks can land on dry grass! and the fire will engulf the entire forest. Burning trash, leaving glass bottles in the sun, and setting off fireworks can also cause fires. 
So, does it mean we can't make fireworks anymore? But they are so beautiful. You can't do it in the forest. There are other, better suited places. But even there, you should remain cautious. Sometimes, forest fires are caused by certain natural phenomena. For example, lightning, volcanic eruptions, or even fire fang. If temperatures reach more than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And how can people get to a fire burning in the forest? It's almost impossible. They need to use aviation to dump water in the place where a fire is raging. is amazing, but it can also be dangerous. You need to know about this if you want to stay safe. And of course, we need to protect nature because it's our common home. Let's go! We have so much to see and to learn. See you later! It's so nice here. Yes, the ocean is great. Look, the water is receding. It's very strange. Come on, run. A huge wave is coming. It's a tsunami. It's enormous, like an entire house. Run! Ooh, we are safe here. A tsunami is a huge wave that destroys everything in its path. Where does it come from? Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions cause tsunamis. They move at a great speed, crash against the coast, and wipe everything off the face of the Earth. I'd like to show you volcanoes. A volcano is a mountain through which magma gets to Earth's surface. And magma is molten mass swirling under the crust of our planet. It's scorching hot. When magma gets to the surface, a volcano erupts. Magma turns into lava and flows down the volcano's slopes. Look, this is a dormant volcano. Volcanoes can sleep for thousands of years. But at one moment, <laughs> all of a sudden, they can wake up. That's why they're so dangerous. 